Okay, let's do this. So the way you build a Radio BC build... Oh, that's nice, GLHF. I will do the same. Is SEV refinery? Another SEV followed by a Rax. Not enough minerals. Minerals now. <laughs> Another SEV to push it up to 15. Stay supply blocked. Uh, I should get rid of this bit all. Stay supply blocked. Okay, so orbital kabad, almost there. Almost there. Never mind, it's gonna react first. Work. Orbital command. The reason being is that, yeah, so it's SCV, one SCV, one reactor, Vax, S. No, let me start again. SCV, refinery, SCV, Vax, refinery, orbital. Because what I found is that, generally speaking, the amount of gas and minerals you will mine up will be perfect in time for you to get your factory, which is really the bottleneck of this. Now, we get our first um, supply depot. And I generally like to wall off simply because if you play against actually all races, you'd rather your supply depots destroyed rather than your production. Because if they get on turret production, you, you effectively lose. So you keep your gas mining high because this will go up and then it will start to drop when obviously the um, the BCs come out. The fastest timing I've ever been able to do is 5 minutes 15 seconds. This is when the first BC gets built. Hold on, build this quickly. It's back. Continuous SCV production. Okay, so you have two choices. Either you can build a bunker at the front which I will recommend you do if you're playing Brutal Plus, but since we're playing on Brutal, I would just wait to use the cooldown. Continuous production, more mules. Again, you'll see this rise, but it's going to fall very soon when the... Um, it's going to fall once PC production starts. Okay, looks like my ally is going to take care of it. Okay, this... This and another supply depot. So he's gonna preemptively strike the enemy. We will now engage together with the banshees. It's not a detector. Like on this map, if you have cloaked units like DTs, Duskwings, it's it's fairly simple. Okay, let's attack the next real enemy. Oh, beautiful. We're gonna go out and contest it. Our allies are being Man, how many of these thrashers are they gonna send? Better get ready to handle them. You take this down. So even when... Okay. Continue pushing. Okay, they've got observer. Does it matter? First BC. Help your friends. Yamato. Okay, so this one depends on map, but generally speaking, once if you are able to hit 800 minerals, you should go for the um, BC, and you should get a second base, no matter what. However, based on what I found, you will not really, you will not be able to to support any further BC production due to the gas issue. Okay, I should get one of these. Next BC. Not enough minerals. You best get ready. The enemy's headed for our base. BC will be attacking this. Research complete. Yamato is ready, but no point wasting it on rocks. We'll wait as long as we can, and then we'll teleport to the front line. So the thing about each BC is that it takes a whole frickin' six supply. So every BC almost requires a supply depot, especially since we're keeping up with SAV production. Okay. Teleport to the front line. Prepare to take out the second wave. Eh, muscle your out of this. Okay, done. Then back here. Next PC. 
continuous production. If you notice carefully, we're spreading our windows, we're spreading our gas almost exactly as it is. Okay, destroy this. That. So depending on what map you're on, or depending if these are already cleared, you want to try and get your refineries once this thing is three quarter done. Okay, next PC. Okay, so it looks like my ally is going for a DT heavy style. Let me help him. Okay, three carriers, three shots. Take down the cannons. Okay, the Breezy's are tanky, so I'll be able to take this. Get the other gas ASAP. Next BC, almost. Try not to do your damn best not to lose any of the BCs. We can repair after this. We'll have enough minerals and gas. Mostly gas. Dodge. Drop this. Another attack wave. Call in the high period to deal with it. Time stop. Perfect. Just thinking about it or not yet. Avoid Thrasher's death has been confirmed. Next PC. Okay, supply block doesn't matter. Hotkey these guys. Blast our way through. It the enemy falls. More of these guys. Now what I'd actually recommend at some point here is you grab a bunch of SCVs and start repairing. Because you don't want to lose these PCs. Uh, how's our gas income? <laughs> okay, this PC is done. Another PC. Additional supply depots are required. Minerals now. Get them. Yep, the cub will drop once SCVs are binding, but then it will jump back up again. Oh, really? Now the other thing you do, once you have to base saturation, you go for an armory first. In the rear with the gear. Not including supply depots. Uh, let's just get two. Okay, that done. These guys can get back to work. Okay, you get an armory. That's already done. And then you start the next star port. What I found is that you're able to support to up to three star ports and get your upgrades going. Provided that you are our two base full saturation. Okay, we're floating a lot of middles. Now is the time to get a backup base at each of our bases. Go for the boost. I would recommend going for the boost upgrade first, but do I have a scan? Not yet. Okay, next BC. See, we have just enough gas to get everything. Then another starport. Okay, if we have a lot of time, we could deal with this first. Dark pylon. I bet it's got a recall. And we're gonna jump. Well, the ones that can at least. Oh dear, a lot of damage. Oh no, the BC might go down. Okay, everybody else teleported a little late. Doesn't matter. Grab a bunch of SCVs and head out. Another BC and another BC. Oh dear, this was close, wasn't it? Okay, they were taking pot shots there. I do not know why. Repair the wounded BCs. Get this. Get the advanced optics. Those are a must. More supply depots. Now at this point, once you're at full base back saturation, you can start going for the alternative. Which is honestly getting medics. And these guys can just be left out here. We've got more than enough. Okay, the trashes are out. 
we will now fly over. We finished that add on. Nice. Thankfully, the Protoss uh, composition is not that hard. Okay, we fly over. Yamato down, key air units. It takes at least six Yamados to kill a hybrid. To kill the hybrid dominators. However, it might take more because often the Yamato cannon will, will bug out a little bit. Simply put, it will use our scan, wipe that out. Three more BCs and plus one. Yes, Commander. Okay, we now have a lot of scans due to our additional due to our additional supply depots. No, the supply depots. Optical commands. We can now scan and begin mass Yamato. Oh, I gotta pull back. Enemy attack we spot right as I was about to Yamato. Take a lot of damage. Take this. We can take this. Okay, we got it. Mass Yamato down. Check out the rival DTs and then head back to the to the to the repair point. Next to the BCs. So let's think you really don't have much Vespine, which is why, for me at least, I'll get medics towards the later part of the game. And it kind of depends a little bit. If you're playing with Zerg, it makes sense to get medics a little bit earlier. But if not, it, you can get medics a bit later. I should hotkey this as well. Yep, running on fairly low upgrades because gas is almost entirely being consumed by the the BCs. Oops, wrong oh, button. So this is a straight BC strategy. We still don't have enough gas to make full use of this. Okay, hold on. With the additional middles, you should be getting additional bases. Uh, okay, cancel this. Get the next upgrade first. And I would honestly recommend you have your BC separate. Now, in order to fill up the supply, that's where you get SCVs. And you send them into battle as mobile repair teams. As for middles, that's what the orbital commands are for. And we still have energy for scan. Time stop in 20 seconds. Perfect. The high period is ready, the dusk raiders are ready. Okay, it looks like we're going. Oh, these idiots are here for some reason. They're heading towards us now. Okay, well, they could just teleport straight to the fight. <coughs> Hyperion. Dusk Raiders, we're just blowing through everything. SCV repair crews. I'm sending an airstrike now. It's too lag for me to do this. The next one are BCs. And we still have time to... Do we have time to come back? No, nope. well but GG. So and that is the pure BC here. build. And I hope that has been an <coughs> interesting video. But we will do one more video. After that we'll load up the next game. <coughs> Gonna go on the brutal difficulty again. The the reason I'm not going on brutal plus is simply because certain certain mutations completely handicap the BC build to the point that it's not viable. <coughs> okay, but this is just a simple guide to demonstrate the fastest and most efficient way to to play with battle cruisers as Raider. Oh, the same person, how nice. So with this build, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna go bio into BCs.
Oh, it's Swift of Call. It's one of the easiest maps as well because the first shot does not have detection. So Dusk Raiders or the um, Shadow Guard, he'll just knock it out. He'll just knock it out. Another thing you can do on this map, depending on how you want to use your Dusk Raiders, is you can build a bunker at the front. With one bunker, two or three marines, one to two SCVs repairing, you'll be able to hold off any of the early wave attacks. The one exception that you might need to micro a little harder is Reapers, because depending on the map, they will jump in at a different point. Okay, we're about to go. Me and Arsenic. I like it. Good luck, have low fun lag. And, uh, beat him, probably. This is Corporal Faraday of the Coral Defense Force. Okay, so same thing first. Gas. SCV. Another SCV. We need to destroy a GLHF. That happens. Don't let me down. <laughs> Go ahead. Then a Max. I don't actually need to be the pilot Nine power field. One more SCV. Okay, so this is going to be a slightly different build. This is going to be a transition to BC, which means that we'll be getting a second Rex first before getting a factory. And we're going to go two Rex full production. As a result... Okay, so a mistake on my part. Get this first. And then get the tech lab. So this is a vastly, vastly different build, because this build relies on you getting your medics out faster, a lot faster. And then using those same medics rather than SCVs to repair your, to heal up your BCs. So in the other one, the, the first BC production should start at about 515 at the very best. Uh, yes, supply depots. The enemy's attack will be upon us soon. I would honestly just buy this up front. The actor, Not enough minerals. gas. <laughs> I would also get, again, depending on who we're fighting, we're fighting I would get the Hellbat upgrades. If not, I think it is worth getting the uh, combat shields and the. Oh, okay, he's gonna go out, he's gonna trigger the Shadow Guard. Is he gonna trigger the Shadow Guard? No, we're just gonna chase it around. He'll be out of time. There we go. If not, I could have done the same thing. You know, send out units just to keep him distracted. Okay. Marauder, two marines. <laughs> so think about this build, it, it focuses on you getting a guard force, because right now, the BC is nowhere on the horizon. Okay, so normally the way I do this is I will get one Marauder. Okay, he's probably gonna take this out. So the other thing about this build is it allows you to get your second base a lot faster. And you are far less dependent on gas. In fact, it's a lot more middle heavy. Why is this movie not shooting? Hmm? Medic, two, two marines. We head back to base. So now another supply depot. In fact, this build requires you to get your second CC before you start uh, tacking towards species. Our enemies are cloaked. Okay, they've got the enemy has detection too. Let's go blow out the shard. Use the stem, call down the banshees. Let's give it vision. Focus it down. Concussive shells. Everybody at the back. Start a step micro. Get behind this. Enemy's blind. 
sure blows up pretty, doesn't it? The enemy will summon. Okay, so once that goes up, then you get the factory. Multiple void shards are active on the field. <coughs> Eliminate them with extreme prejudice. Okay, so we've got a lot of time. We don't actually have to attack. I'm gonna send them out here. Continue supply depot production. Drop a mule. Research complete. Not ready. I'm not gonna engage them yet. But continue medic production. Because medics are the ones that will really determine the fight. They are the ones that can heal up the BCs, give them sustain. But I would never recommend having your medics together with the BCs in the fight itself because they always die. And medics are honestly quite a bit of gas. Okay, starport. Right about now you can get your second gases. Time to work. Supply, the last supply depots of this wall, then set them up here. Again, I'm a guy who likes my supply depot walls, so... So we'll go up. This is still under construction. So so here's another division. We're gonna get two star ports at a time to simply catch up in BC production. Because I mean if you think about it, a star port still requires less time to build than the than the fusion core. Yeah. Call down mules. Get SCVs up north. SCV ready. Add on. Complete. But do not slouch off your. Okay, I think we'll call the Dusk Raiders again. Treat, let them fight. Prepare to push, send in the Hyperion. Hyperion in there. Perfect time stop. My allies playing real well today. Oops. Ah, what did I press? Now we start BC production. Good and proper. Scan. Normally the first objective will have DTs. Enemy DTs, that is. Okay, our guys are doing really well. Well done. Oh. There, two BC production. Uh oh. Don't get hit by the ball. Half of them still got hit by the ball. Break it down. Go ahead. Who called in the police? Armory. One fewer void shard for us to deal with. Now, almost. We get the engineering easy. bay. Numerous void shards detected. We need to destroy them ASAP. Okay, okay, if I had gone for a pure BC build, there we go. <coughs> yeah, well, let's, let's cancel the armory. The battle cannon is not done. Next BC is on the way. Minerals now! Supply depots need to be built. No problem. Not enough minerals. Research complete. Fight right on the side. Okay. Camaran XPC. pirates are taking advantage of the chaos to steal precious resources. Shoot those traitors out of the sky if mm -hmm. you can. So, so I'll just set the BCs to deal with it. Not gonna risk that squishy hard to replace bio. As amazing as that sounds. Fire the three Yamados that I have. Get out of blast. I'm supposed to get out of blast radius. Against this objective, it's not that hard as it can fly and shoot. Get out of the blast radius. Fire the final. There. Pirate ship neutralized. Nothing worse than pirates and traitors. Come back. Let the medic seal them up. Continue medic production. Continue SCV production. 
continue build, build jobs. So this strategy is, well, to me it's it's safer to get to, but ultimately a little bit less fun, honestly, because you get your BCs out so much later. And the fun of it really is to try to get your BCs, you try to get those Yabados going. It's three Yabados, two Yabados to take down a carrier, not three, my bad. Enemy attack, stay behind and defend. Next two BCs, slightly bows. Ah, let's call out the period. Rest of the BCs, you head into the battle. The front line, next two BCs. Next one are bio reinforcements. I just like that, you've you spent I've spent my bank. Play Amados, get rid of this cannon. Get the next upgrade. You've neutralized another void shard. Well done. Right off. Reproduction. Uh oh. Yes, Commander. Only one group of shards left. Okay. Allied teleported back. Just be able to deal with it. So this one is also not as much fun to be simply because you have to spend money both on your bio as well as on your... I'm going to build another wall here. As well as on your BCs. As you can see it's pretty minimal intensive. Pretty sealed up. Okay. So the thing about this map, if you're playing with any air commander, is that you could go around the objective. Do I have scans? Okay, I do. Next PC is out of the way, bio upgrades out of the way, we could fly straight to the objective. There will be some resistance down here. Get out of this. Get out of that. Take a little bit of storm damage. Maybe be careful. I have the rest of the Yabados. I'm detecting an Dodge enemy that attack. shot. They're heading towards us now. Next two BCs. I have the next two Yabados. Build a supply depot. Hey, help your friends. And done. That's the thing about the Dominion. Even in a crisis. Our rule of law holds firm. Again, if you're floating over a thousand middles, just build more. Just build more CCs. Scan energy is always good. Mules. Everybody from Protoss to Terrace being healed up. And we can move to the next objective over here. So I always, I still want to produce some bio, simply because in a pitch battle like this, the bio can hold hold their ground. Yeah, they're gonna get stormed, but they are still doing their job. They're able to fight, and with and with the bio, the medics are able to get a lot closer. Okay, next two BCs. Come to a big battle. Okay. You building the wall. Void shard eliminated. Keep it up. Move up the ramp. To oblivion. To the heart of the enemy. Our oh come on! Scan. That's a good mothership here, isn't it? Don't if my ally blew it up. Biostatic star able to there's the mothership. Hey, help your friend. Last one over here. Just... Use the last of our BCs. We got Mato cannons. That one's down for the count. And GG. Our, our 
So that is the example of the BC transition build. Safer, but in my opinion, a bit less fun. A little bit of a compromise.